Have you already heard about the Lua programming language? Let's review it in detail. You're on the Jelvix channel, and we're excited to share our thoughts on recent developments in tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. Let's start with an explanation of what Lua is. Lua is a robust, lightweight, and embeddable scripting language that supports multiple programming techniques, including procedural, object-oriented, functional, and data-driven programming. The next step is to find out the way Lua works. Lua has two components, interpreter and virtual machine. Lua is not directly interpreted through a Lua file like other languages such as Python. Instead, it uses the Lua interpreter to compile the Lua file into bytecode. The Lua interpreter is written in ANSI C, making it highly portable and capable of running on a variety of devices. The compilation is usually done at runtime. However, sometimes this can be done before execution to increase the load time. The Lua virtual machine will then run this compiled bytecode. So what's so great about Lua? Let's overview the key features. Firstly, its speed. Lua is considered one of the fastest programming languages among interpreted scripting languages. The next point is size. Its complete source code and documentation is only 1.3 megabytes. Moreover, Lua has great portability and embeddability. Also, Lua is well known for its simplicity. One of the main features of Lua is meta mechanisms, which allow developers to implement functions rather than providing a set of functions directly to the language itself. And the last point is a license. Lua is free and open source software licensed under the MIT license. So, have you even heard about Lua before? Share in the comments section under the video. Like any language, Lua has its pros and cons. Talking about benefits, the key one is easy application integration. The next one is simple syntax. A relatively simple syntactic structure with about 20 highlighted keywords makes it easy to dive into Lua programming. Lua is also well known for its flexibility. Without the standard libraries, you can customize Lua to suit your needs. Dynamic variables in Lua allow you to define variables without defining types, and the type is determined automatically at runtime. And finally, it has lots of documentation. But despite plenty of benefits, Lua isn't perfect. First, it has limited support for error handling, which can lead to increased debugging time to determine the exact errors in a Lua script. Moreover, all variables are created as global, which can lead to errors when assigning variables. And the last one is limited support for pattern matching. So, how is Lua different from other languages? Let's overview its distinctions to Python, Java, and JavaScript. The first criteria for comparison is language usage. While Lua is used for embedded scripting, Python and Java are languages for multiple usages, and JavaScript is purposed for web app development. The next point is syntax. Lua, Python, and JavaScript have a simple syntax, while Java is complex. All of the languages are multi-platform, but JavaScript is web-oriented. You can read more about JavaScript and its frameworks in our recent article. Follow the link in the description box. When to use Lua? As a scripting language with no major limitations, you can use Lua for any scenario, from a simple backend script on a web server to developing a complex game. Lua is widely used in video game development, as it can be used to build functionality without polluting overall performance, as well as keeping everything separate. Some popular games, programs, and services that use Lua are Dark Souls, Fable 2, Gary's Mod, Wireshark, VLC, Apache. So, have you already tried Lua at work? What's your impression? This video was produced by the Jelvix team. We help the world's leading brands innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We're sharing the latest on technology trends and innovations. So be sure to subscribe not to miss any videos, and don't forget to press the bell button. Also, share what topics we need to cover further on our channel. You can find our contact details in the description box. Bye for now.